So in this video, we're going to look at quick sheets. So if you've got a sort of defined format that you want to see your draft files in, um, you can set it up as a sort of template. And these are called quick sheets. So if we go and create a drawing of this model, so we're going to do this as a sheet metal um, example. So I'll place a view here and then another one here. And maybe you just have a um, isometric as well. So let's just drag the isometric over to the side and we'll change its shading to shading with edges, update the views. And then we can actually um, sort of pull in the dimensions from the um, model so depending on whether you've dimensioned it or not we can actually just apply that um, if i wanted to i could go back and say let's make the text height a little bit higher so if i go back to smart select and um, choose a dimension that's going to allow me to choose um, all the element types um, of the one I selected. And then I can quickly just change the text scale to say 1.5. Um, still looks a little bit messy. So um, what I can do here is do an arrange dimensions. And this will just reset them with a sort of nice spacing. Um, something else that I um, might want to change uh, just a personal bug of mine is um, these radial dimensions. I always like to see them as being horizontal. Um, it just makes it easier to read. And then we can use the copy attributes. And so I want to copy that one. Um, you've got various options on here. But I want to just go style. And that allows me to just quickly go through and sort of uh, redefine any other ones that are of the same sort of style. And then you can just adjust them out to um, be a bit more visible. So once you've got your um, setup roughly how you want, um, for a sheet metal, I may want to add in a new sheet. Uh, let's make this an A3. And um, for this, I will go back to my view wizard, same part, but I want to show the flat pattern. So if I go to the drawing view wizard options, I can choose my flat pattern on here and place that on the drawing. And uh, the side elevation is sort of immaterial, really. And um, then we can do a retrieve dimensions on here, which will give us our. Um, overall um, sizes. So once you've defined what the layout of the part you want to have as a template is, um, just remember that when we do this process, it's going to wipe everything out. So this just needs to be a copy or just one that you set up for the process of setting it up directly. So from here, we can go into the um, settings. And there's an option here to create quick sheet template. This is just a warning saying that all the geometry is going to be removed. And basically, we can then go back to our templates. And there's a special folder for this. And we may want to call this um, And that saves it. And as you see, it's defined the um, views for us, um, all waiting to be used. So then if we um, come back and go into new and control N will probably get me there quicker. So if I go quick sheets, and there should be this one that I have just created. So then you can go out to um, 
your Windows File Explorer and just drag a sheet metal file into the drawing and you'll see that we have those um, views already configured and um, you can see we've got the uh, flat pattern in here as well. So that's just quickly how um, Quick Sheets work. If you do an assembly, it will also store the parts list for you as well. So it's just a quick way of getting things set up in a sort of format that you might want to use.